So tonight, just as the sun goes down, I'm putting a couple hives on the truck and bringing them back to the house. So tying up a colony like this with a ratchet strap has pretty much become my favorite method of moving just a few colonies in a night. If you've got a lot more to do, then it's maybe not the most practical way. But I like to take a ratchet strap and put it right around the entire colony and do it up tight. And then if you've got a sturdy lid, you can actually just lift the whole colony by the lid. And it's easier than getting your arms all the way around the colony. So if I only have a couple colonies to move like I do tonight, this is the way I prefer to do that. So the next day, here we are, and these are my scales. Um, so I got these super old, like balance style scales with the platform on the bottom. And this is my plan for the year, to have an ongoing video series about these two hives in particular. I'm gonna take their weights all year long as they uh, get stacked up with honey and grow throughout the season. So I'm really excited. Um, these scales are really interesting. They're really heavy, heavy duty. Um, this one says a thousand pounds capacity. This one's like 1200 and they're actually made in Ontario. This one says Hamilton, Canada right on the scale. It's been redone up a little bit, um, but they're in pretty good working order. When I got them, I had to do a little bit of work on this one to get it accurate, but, um, but they're really good. Actually, from what I can tell relative to the bathroom scale, they're accurate you know, within a pound or so. So my plan for today, um, I'm gonna unstrap these and I've actually made some custom bottom boards for these. So I made, um, it's a screen bottom board that I'm gonna put the colonies on. And because there's no room at the back of the hive to take out a sticky board or something, I custom made the screen bottom board to go on a regular bottom board with, um, with an opening just at the side so I can take a sticky board in or out. So I have a left-handed one and a right-handed one. And I'm gonna sort of take these apart, put them on their screen bottom boards. Um, and I actually wanna level up this pallet a little bit. And then at the end of it all, um, you know, I'll sort of show you what's going on in the hives and then we'll take their first weights. Okay, we'll get into this yellow lid one first. So that's gonna come off. I'll lift this colony off in a minute. And uh, this has got the right-handed bottom board. Um, so this one's gonna have a blue bottom board when I'm finished with it. So we'll see, I'll just make sure everything's all right and I'll show you a little bit how it looks. Okay. Okay, if you can tell from there, but this is basically a full box of bees. So I mostly just wanna make sure that they've got, um, you know, quite a bit of honey and food left in here. And there's capped honey on this second to the outside frame. They're storing pollen. Oh yeah, lots of, lots of honey there. That's good. Sort of get an idea of how much brood is in here now. Wow, all right, that's full of pollen. And then I can see the next frame right away here. This is, okay, lots of brood. Good amount of capped brood, but she's also laid 
eggs right out to the outside there. Let's move a couple frames over and see. So there's still lots of brood. Then out here is sort of, oh, there's eggs laid out here, but um, this is sort of where the brood is slowing down. So there's definitely brood on four, probably brood on five frames, but not a ton on the, the last couple. So anyway, there's lots of feed in here and there's still lots of space for the next couple weeks while they, they continue to grow out. So, I'm going to lift this hive right off, off its bottom board, set it, set it on this lid temporarily. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to level this pallet right now. Okay, that pallet's come up. I'll put this new bottom board down. So a regular entrance at the front, and then it's got this side opening where I can slide a screen bottom board in there, or uh, I can slide a sticky board in here. I'm gonna have to come up with something to block that side. Uh, sort of forgot about it. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna close them back up. Okay, and this one I said, I think it likely has a little bit less of a population. It's probably heavier from the start. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Set that there for now. So I'll just give you a look from the top down. You can see right away that on the close side of this colony, there's not a lot of bees, especially up in this top corner. And they're mostly spread across to the other side here. So not a lot on this side, but lots out there. Um, but this side is filled with honey. Anyway, there's a full frames of honey on the outside and this is still from from last fall this is the way they came through the winter so you know neither neither of these colonies got any um, feed at all in the spring no sugar syrup and no no pollen patties not all my colonies I fed pollen patties in the spring so I specifically moved some in here that weren't fed just so they're they're managed a little more in a standard fashion that's really full of pollen if you can see that yeah so my idea for the year is to um, is just to manage these normally quote unquote so I mean basically I guess their goal will be honey production for this year I don't intend on splitting them um, I don't intend on you know pulling nukes out of them or anything like that I'm just gonna you know stack up the boxes try and produce some honey and that's part of the part of the goal of these videos is to show you how I do manage some colonies in in a really standard way with the goal of honey production in mind so there's quite a few frames with brood like this and they're actually got a big patch of drone brood here in the middle that they're raising now so I just noticed my queen is right here and she's marked yellow and that's another reason that I pulled both of these colonies into this yard is because they have yellow queens which are 2017 queens um, so there's no reason for me to replace these queens this year so they really have like three good frames of brood um, with eggs on you know fourth and fifth frame so she's sort of expanding where she's laying now and I bet you know within two weeks this is going to be a as that first capped brood hatches out this is going to be a full box of bees okay and then this one too I'm going to take off its old bottom board 
colony goes back on. And then, uh, so this is all beige with a green lid. So these are the two scale hives for the year. Let's take their first weight. Today is May 2nd. So these balance scales work by just sliding along this weight until it balances itself, not up or down. And then um, they're not heavy enough yet, but they have these hangers where I can put weights, you know, weights for um, 80 pounds or 100 pounds. I can just put them on there as we stack up the boxes. And the good thing about these scales is they have the number readings both on the front and the back. So when these hives are, you know, they're going to be stacked way up with supers at some point this summer, but I can easily just take a reading from the very back here and they have the numbers for me to read. So let's do this green lid first. They're not over a hundred pounds yet. That's actually So this one is starting at 56 pounds. 56 for the green lid. And this one I'm guessing is even lighter. Let's see, 50. Oh. 50 is pretty much balanced right there. 50. Yep, it's not 51. So this one's 50 pounds and this one's 56 pounds. Uh, if you don't subscribe to the channel, now would be a good time to click subscribe because I'm gonna try and update these. It's really easy. These are actually right where I live here now. Um, so I can come out and weigh these hives anytime I want. Uh, so I'm gonna try and make these update videos with these scale hives as often as possible, probably weekly. Um, and I may have some more things to show a little more often during the honey flow time of the of the summer too yeah so thanks a ton for watching i'm excited about these colonies and what these videos are going to be like over the summer thanks again